Oh yeah, check out all that dirt and nastiness come out of our condenser. That's awesome. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. And as you saw, we are going to be doing a DIY where we're gonna clean our very own air conditioning coils. I happen to pick a company called Frost King and I have no ties to them. They just had a lot of great reviews on Amazon. It's important to note that you have to pick a product that can clean air conditioning coils. Enough of this talk, let's get right into the review. The product could be put on in a couple of different ways. You can just spray it through the holes on the side and the back where you have access so you can actually see your coils. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the top off and spray from the inside out because I just wanna make sure it's thoroughly clean. Manufacturers recommend to do this one or two times a year. It's actually been over a year since I've done it so I know this is gonna be filthy. Let's get started. I'm actually cleaning mine early in the morning because this actually operates the air conditioning to my lower level of my house. And because I know it's going to get hot this afternoon, I want this thing back up and running. So after you wash it, you're going to need some time to dry. So just make sure you plan accordingly. First, let's shut off power to the inside unit. Now that I have the inside units turned completely off, I'm just going to pop out my breaker. I'm going to set this aside so I don't lose it. And of course, let's close this back down. Now that the power's off and we are safe, if you want to take an extra level of precaution, you can also throw the breaker down at the box. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take out all of these screws. My screws happen to be in spots I can see them. Yours may be hidden, so just look around, take them out, and don't force the lid off. I always put my parts in a plastic bag and seal it. That way I know exactly where they are and don't have to worry about finding them later. All of our screws are out. Let's take the time to carefully pop off the top. Oh, it's nasty in there. You're going to see some spider webs and maybe some debris. There are similarities, but there are also differences between units. You can see that my electrical components are right here on the right, along with the motherboard, all that wiring and such. I'm going to do my very best to keep this part dry during the entire process. As you can see, my coil is only on the left and the back. Some of these coils are actually around the left, the back, and the right side. So like I said, yours might be different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up spraying down the entire coils in the back and the side. First thing you want to do is inspect the inside. Any big debris or leaves, you can take the time to get that out now. I have some cobwebs. I'm not too worried about those. Those will rinse out. And actually, I don't see any large debris. But if you do have leaves and such, reach down there and grab them out. Cleaning out the debris in the back is very important. I've been taking time out here about 20 minutes. We used to have a duck that used to hide behind here, and man, there are duck feathers still in this thing, so just take the time to clean it out. I did want to talk a little bit about the particular can that I purchased. As you can see, it is by the company called Frost King, and it's an air conditioning coil foaming cleaner. Make sure to note that this was specific for air conditioning coils. There are other cleaners out there that you just don't use unless they say it's for air conditioning coils. They have provided pretty detailed directions on how to maintain safety as long as what to do if it comes in contact with your eyes or skin. So make sure you read your directions before using it. First step is make sure you really, really shake up your cleaner. There is this brush. Let me see if I can focus in on there. There is this brush on top that you can use to clean out your coils. I do recommend if you do this to go with caution as you do not want to damage the coils at all, but it could be used to clean them out. I wanted to point out the coils. You need to be very careful with them as they do bend easily. So as we're going through this process, pay special attention not to put any pressure against the coils as you can damage them. After you've taken the time to shake the can a lot, start from the top and spray just the vent. You can see that it immediately starts foaming up and that's what it's supposed to do because it's getting there and targeting all the dirt. This one happens to have a little bit of a lemon smell, so it smells pretty good. Now the side is cleaning, let's work on cleaning the back. I always start from the top and move my way down. Careful around that electrical part though. If you chose to not take off your cover, you are done. They do say you don't have to rinse this off, although it's something I'm absolutely going to do. However, since I took the time to take the cover off, I'm also going to spray from the inside out all the way down from the top. It's got a good stream on this, so you're good to go just spraying it in there. Remember, stay away from your electrical. Because it's been a significant period of time since I've cleaned this before, I'm actually going to use this brush head to gently go up and down the grates. Look at that dirt that just came off. I mean, that's a lot of dirt. 
but you want to make sure you're doing this very gently, no pressure. I'm just using them to scrape out the fans or the vents. I will say I tried my very best not to mess with the coils because they are very, very sensitive and soft, but I did hit it here. So what I would do is I would take my brush, gently line it up and pull it up and try to pull those back out into shape. I will say if you do this, go very slow, do not apply too much pressure and you should have good success. This has been sitting now for about 20 minutes. Most of the foaming cleaner has dissolved. I should say I did use an entire can on this one unit and that's what I typically do. Now I'm just gonna get my hose out and just start rinsing this out. Like I said before, I'm gonna mainly target the coils. So make sure you steer clear of the electric components. I am gonna start of course here on the inside and then move to the outside. But I can see stuff just coming down and this is looking clean. As you can see, as I'm spraying this down, I'm getting significant bubbles at the bottom, which I know means it's cleaning as it's draining down. Now that I thoroughly cleaned out the inside or sprayed out the inside, I wanna gently do the same thing on the outside, starting from the top and going down. You can see, of course, here I'm on the side. Once I've gotten all the way down to the bottom here on the side, I'm gonna to go to the back. I was most impressed with the back. This came really, really clean. Like I said, I did take a little extra time to use the brush to clean out the grates from top to bottom and then bottom to top. Now I'm just rinsing out the system. I'm always amazed with how clean it is after I'm done. I should say total time took about an hour and that's shutting off units, pulling power, taking the top off, spraying down the unit and then letting it sit for 20 minutes. And then I do a thorough rinse out to make sure all the soap is out and all the cleaner is out. Now I'm gonna let it sit here for an hour, maybe two, let it completely dry out before firing it back up again. I will put the top on during the interim, but in about two hours I'll check back in and we'll fire it back up. So tell me, what are your thoughts of these air conditioning cleaners? Have you used one? You're looking to try one? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from I you. I wanted to take the time to show you a side-by-side -side of the coils so you can see exactly how clean they got. They are impressive from before to after and all it took was an hour. After two hours, we hooked the power back up and turned everything on and it is running awesome. In this video, we are doing a DIY cleaning our very own air conditioning coil. And of course you can see behind me, I used a company called Frost King. So what did I think of it? First things first, let's talk about that price point. Two cans for like 20 bucks. In my opinion, that was pretty good deal. Especially if you consider that I reached out to two different companies to get an estimate on how much it would cost me to clean my exterior coils on my air conditioner. The company that installed it told me they would charge around $250, but I had another company that was gonna charge between $350 and $400. So in my book, 10 bucks a can, an hour of work was definitely worth it. How did it work? Well, you saw that it was quick and easy, just a quick spray on, it leaks down and I rinse it out. Although Frost King says you don't have to rinse it out, I prefer making sure that all of that soap and cleaner is out. I chose to go deep and clean both the outside and the inside. It's not something you have to do, but for me, I did that because it's been so long since I've cleaned it. I wanna make sure I did a thorough job and it took no matter of time and it was done and clean. I should note, that cleaning your coils not only prolongs the life of the unit, makes it more efficient, but you might have to just because of the warranty on your particular unit. Mine comes with a 10 year warranty and I am supposed to clean it at least two times a year. Anyway, as long as you are being safe and follow the directions on the side of the can, pulling that power and keeping away from your electrical, this is a pretty easy job. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and hope you have a great day. Since I'm cleaning out the outside condenser, I also take the time to spray out the inside filters or replace the filters just depending on the unit. I do this once a month anyway, so they're not that dirty, but at least now they can dry out here in the sun and are ready when I'm ready to hook the system back up again. I should say I typically vacuum mine out, but since the unit's gonna be down for two hours anyway, I figured it was a good time to spray them. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review where I cleaned the inside of my air conditioner coils and boy were they dirty and now they're clean. You know what, during this video, I don't know if you saw that handle I used on my hose, but it's something I reviewed not that long ago. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that video right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you right here. So go ahead, click it, it's safe.
I promise.